Today we are going to be doing a Bible activity, so if you guys want to watch this video, video, learn all the words and emotions, and send that video to us, we would love to see you guys doing the Bible activity with us. But we're going to be talking about how God is our creator, and he made us awesome and strong, but that we have to use our bodies for good. So the first thing we're going to say and do is we're going to point our hands to the sky, and we're going to say God is our creator. He made you and me. Our bodies are amazing. Watch and see. He gave us a mouth to laugh and a heart to love. And we can climb and we can ride and we can run. These are gifts from God above. But we have to use our bodies for good, choosing right instead of wrong. God is our awesome creator. He, get, he made our bodies strong. Guys, I love you so much. Mr. Hayden misses you so very much. I hope all of you are doing amazing and God bless. Hey guys, welcome to week week eight. Welcome back everyone. So before we begin, I need you to pause this video. I need you to go find three things, okay? Item number one, scissors. Item number two, colorful markers. Item number three, tan or brown paper works best, but you can do it with white if that's all you have. So you just need a sheet of paper. All right, and boys and girls, don't forget to have your parents log you on to Right Now Media. It's an awesome free website or app that we have through our church. So um, make sure that you get them on there and you can watch some really cool VeggieTales videos. Actually, there's lots of cool videos on there. Mm -hmm. Bible Man, VeggieTales, mm -hmm. 321 Penguins. There's lots of fun things on there. So, mm. Mm. Miss Sherry, mm -hmm. why are you eating Fruit Loops? Because they're really good. Don't you like Fruit Loops? I mean, I love Fruit Loops. Well, I also love that there's so many different colors in here. It's just fun to eat. Mm-hmm. They have blue ones and purple ones and oh my gosh, pink ones. Those are my favorite. Mm. And I also love the fact that just like in this bowl of all these beautiful colors here, God made us in all different beautiful colors. And that just shows God loves all of us no matter what. He created us in his image. So we have some um, fun things that we're going to do today. Mm-hmm. And I can't wait. But first of all, Miss Sherry. Yes? Does something seem a little off with Miss Sherry's hair? Is it just me, guys? Oh, you're talking about my colors. Yes. Yes. Well, you know, God made people, like I said, in all different colors. He gave them all different eye colors, even all different hair colors. So, again, I just wanted to have some fun hair color today. That's cute. All right, guys, you know the drill. Let's go sing. Hallelujah, hallelujah.
the beginning God created the heavens and the earth. Now the earth was formless and empty. Darkness was over the surface of the deep. And the Spirit of God was hovering over the waters. And God said, let there be light. And there was light. God saw that the light was good. And he separated the light from the darkness. God Light day and the darkness he called night, and there was evening and there was morning the first day. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Now the earth was formless and empty. Darkness was over the surface of the deep, and the spirit of God was hovering over the waters. And God said, "Let there be light," and there was light. God saw that the light was good, and He separated the light from the darkness. God. Light, day, and the darkness he called night. And there was evening, and there was morning, the first day. In the beginning, God created the All right, boys and girls, we have a really cool video coming up for you on mm. missionaries. Missionary, what's a missionary? A missionary, I'm glad you asked. Well, we actually had some special missionaries, um, which can be anybody, um, go out and cross the country. They traveled in a plane across the big ocean um, all the way to Ethiopia, and that's where they are in this video, but they go out and spread the good news about Jesus. Who can be a missionary, Missionary? Anybody can be a missionary. You guys can even be missionaries at your own homes, talking to your parents about Jesus. You can go out around your neighborhood and tell all your friends, or if you're at a park or maybe Chick-fil-A playground, school, yes, anywhere. So you're saying I can be a missionary? You can be a missionary, Miss Elena. That sounds awesome. Yes. So let's go ahead and watch that video. And Starting out this, process, I was invited to go on a medical mission trip to Ethiopia with medical students, you know, people that were going to be doctors and then former pastors and a realtor. And I was very concerned how God was going to use a realtor in a mission field. God is actually moving uh, in amazing ways in Ethiopia. I went last year and, uh, and got so excited about what God was doing that I said, I gotta go again. So one of the things that I generally love about any mission trip is how I've seen how sharing the gospel um, with other people actually reignites that same fire in my own heart and reminds me of the goodness of um, the basics of the gospel. Uh, one of the things we did do this time was to literally take uh, the gospel and the uh, medical ministry uh, to the ends of the earth.
these ministries that we are doing with Celebration Church uh, help us to plant all these churches. in the right place at the right time. I was, I was touched deeply that uh, how God used a realtor in a medical mission field in Ethiopia. He can do anything. All right, guys, welcome to craft time. You should have grabbed your A, scissors, your B, markers, and then C, your sheet of paper. To give you an example of what we're making, it kind of looks like this. Okay, a bunch of people holding hands, but we're gonna add some decorations, okay? So to start off, you need your piece of paper. Hold it like this. First thing you're gonna do is you're gonna fold it, hot dog style. Hot so, dog style. Like this way. So don't fold it this way, fold it. So like I'm making a big hot dog bun? Mm-hmm. Yep. Oh, and I fold it, it nice okay. and flat. All right. And then you're gonna take your scissors and you're gonna cut. Along I this line. Ask my mommy to make sure I can use the scissors. Definitely ask mom or dad if you can use the scissors. Oh, thank you. Okay, but cut all the way until you have two pieces. Just like Miss Sherry's doing carefully. <gasps> two pieces, but now see how you have two pieces? You're only gonna need one of them. Okay, so save that other one for later if you wanna try again. But you only need one sheet of paper. Awesome. So now we have our one piece of paper. We're gonna fold it up, okay? So the first time is you're gonna fold it up like hamburger style. So like this way. Okay. Shorter. And make sure the edges line up and swish it flat. Mm -hmm. There we go, that's fold number one. We're gonna do it again, same way. We're gonna fold it like this. Like I keep making a smaller book. Yes, a smaller and smaller and smaller book. Okay, that's fold number two. And the last one, hold it one more time like this. It's a really small book, really small, okay? And then we have our final fold, okay? So then what you're gonna do next is you're gonna take one of your markers, okay? and you're gonna draw the outline of a person on it, okay? So we're gonna start up here. Where the fold is? Where the fold is. So, okay, so I do it on this side. Do it on this side, okay. yes. And I draw a half a person? You draw half of a person, okay. yes, okay. okay? So look, it'll be really easy. You draw the head. A head, so like a circle? Like a circle on top. Okay. It's okay if you mess up, you can put it on the other side. So you should have a circle. Oh, circle on the top. My head's a little small, but that's okay. That's okay. All right. And then next, you're going to draw arms. So draw a long arm and make sure you go all the way out to the edge of the paper. Like this. I drew one line. I started from the base of the circle. Okay. And I went all the way out. Okay. Yep. And now you're going to draw a line underneath that. So look, we made an arm. Just like that. You see its head, now you see its arm. Yep, just like that. And now you're gonna start at the same place from where your arm was. You see how that line right there? So you're gonna start from that line, you're gonna go all the way down to the corner. Just like that. Ah, okay. So you start from this line, you go all the way down to the corner. He's got long legs, that's okay. Everyone's different. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to do the same thing we did with the legs. We're going to draw a second line below it. Okay. See how he has a big leg now? Awesome. There we go. And now we need our scissors again. We're done drawing on our person. So we're going to take our scissors and we're going to cut out around where we drew. So you see how I drew this? We're not gonna cut out this part, we're gonna cut out this part. So we're just gonna cut off the corner. Just like that. We're gonna cut off on this side. 
Yep. Mm hmm Don't cut out the leg. And then we're going to cut underneath the arm. Oof, having a little trouble. It's okay. <laughs> awesome. And then we're going to cut out above the, around the head. I'm so excited. I can't wait to see what it looks like. Ta-da. All right. So we've cut off all three of those and now we can unfold it. I think I kind of injured my person. <gasps> oh, cool. Ta-da. I love it. We have four human beings. Okay. Don't cut all the way through. Don't cut all the way through. Mm hmm just like that. So while you're waiting, um, you can then take out the fun part, take out your colorful markers. I want you to color each of these human beings a different color, okay? So we have to color them hair, we have to color them eyes, we have to color them their, their shirts and pants, but we have to do it for different colors. So my first girl is going to have purple hair. Yay! Beautiful. And my third guy is gonna have purple eyes. So cool. <laughs> How's he look, Miss Sherry? <gasps> Yay! And I have one eyeball. <laughs> That's okay. My second person is gonna have green hair. And my first guy is going to have green eyeballs. So the goal is to be colorful. I see why I should have made a bigger head now so that I can have room for my hair. Oh, we'll make him have blue eyes. She's going to have blue hair. I have one to match my blue hair. Ooh, super so cool. Probably. Oh, this and girl's green. gonna have brown hair, just like me. I'll add some green hair into this too. <gasps> so pretty. And we'll do brown eyes. Ooh, they're looking, they're looking good. I love it, my people. We'll draw them some smiles. Gonna make mine with a big mouth. Let's see. So there's one. Okay, let's see. What color eyes should I do next? What color eyes? Red. Red. Okay. Two red. Red eyes. So I'll make one of my other ones with red hair. Pink shirts. Ooh, yeah, I love pink shirts. And blue eyes, another one with blue eyes. All right, guys, look at my guys. How did I do? Don't they look cute and colorful? Great job, Miss Elena. I love it. Awesome. So you guys have fun doing that at home, okay? It's nice and easy. Oh, so colorful. Okay, and send us pictures if you want. Yes, please send us some pictures. I can't wait to see how yours turned out. All right, guys, let's do a little wrap-up review, shall we, of what we learned today. Um, first of all, why did Miss Sherry eat these? Can you remember? Because they're fruity and yummy. No, because they're colorful, right? They have so many different colors, and that means they're just like us. Right. All of us have different colors. We have different colored eyes. We have different colored hair. We have different colored skin. It makes us each unique and special because God made each and every one of us. He sure did. He made all of us special. He did. Um, and then we learned about, ooh, um, what are the people that 
they they go across the globe and they they share the good news. What is that called again? They're uh, called airplane pilot. They're not called pilots, Miss Sherry. Mm. It starts with an M. Mamas? Not mamas. <gasps> They're going on a mission, a missionary. A missionary. That's right. We learned about missionaries who travel the globe and they tell the good news to everybody. That sounds like a lot of fun. I want to do that someday. I do too. Where would you go, Miss Elena? I'd go to anywhere. I'd go anywhere. Anywhere. Probably Africa or Europe or Asia or Australia. Ooh, Australia. That's pretty, pretty cool. cool. Or Antarctica. Ooh, I'll let you go to Antarctica. <laughs> That looks like it's cold. <laughs> Way too cold for me. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, that's it for this week. So come back next week for more details. But before we end, we have a riddle, a clue for next week. Part number one. And part number two. Okay, so see if you can tell what we're going to talk about next week. And then tune in next week. So bye, guys. Bye. See you next week. Thank you.